Hello and welcome to the Broke Up Noob and welcome back to a shadow over Freddy's. Where we last left off, we had just got ourselves the bad ending on night five. Because we, we we beat night five. We did it. Yippee. But we didn't get all the plushies. We only got three out of the five plushies. We are going to have to go back into the first two nights of the game. And I'm hoping this works. I'm hoping we have to play through everything again. Because we've done nights three. I don't want to do nights three and four again. Those were pretty tough. And we will have to do night five though to get the ending, which is gonna be which is gonna be a real pain. But we'll jump into night one here, and I'm hoping we can grab the plushie, complete it, and the game will be like, you got the plushie, good job. So night night one's easy because we've only got uh, Freddy active, so he's literally we cannot die unless we fail at moving. So we're just gonna immediately head out of the office. Oh, I don't think we have to do the tutorial first. Here, yeah, don't worry, game, we got this, we got this. Easy as, easy as. And booyah. We good? We good. Alrighty. So the plushies on stage. We want to try and find the exit, uh, which is the easiest objective. Because uh, we know where it is. We know we, we unlike unlike Note 5, where the exit does not help us. We can we, we, we know we know where it is. So we're gonna av actually avoid the exit as much as we can. We have plenty of time, no one to worry about at all. We are literally cannot be harmed by anyone. As a matter of fact. So we're just gonna head this way. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna head our way to stage. I guess then we will have to deal with Bonnie at night two, but he's gonna be pretty slow. Um, so he'll be fine. We can just, we can just dodge him, dodge him real quick. Uh, there we are over this way. Super, super fast. We get this done. We get the speed. Get me up on stage. The worst, the worst area in the whole game. We have to go there. There you are, Freddy. Yoink. We got ya. We got ya. And hopefully we're lucky we'll have time to do night six. Uh, which is the final night the game has to offer. Oh, hey, Freddy. Sorry, Freddy. I missed ya. If you actually shown, if you had actually shown yourself, I would have got ya. But there we are to the exit. Night one complete with our plushie in store. And some hope, I'm hoping it counts. I'm hoping we don't have to play through every single night again. I don't see why we would. It will be such a weird thing to do. Because I mean that your plushy progress isn't saved if you back out of the menu. Which doesn't make any sense, really. So there we have it. Um, we will hear the puppet story again. Just in case. I think we can still, we can click yes and then skip it. But just in case the puppet wants to be like, ah, oh, you know, you better hear my story or else I'm gonna, or else I'm gonna kill ya. Because we're gonna show, we're gonna show that we care. That's, that's, the, that's the whole point of the good ending. We're going to show that we care. Pull back to safety. Shut our office to help a story to clear your head. Will we accept? Yes, we will. But then we're immediately going to skip it because we ain't got time for this. We're, we're on the clock here, puppet. We ain't here to listen to your stories. We've already heard them before. So we got, we, 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 we're on our own time now. So if it lets me skip, it should. Hopefully there is. Is it not going to let me skip? I swear I remember there being a skip button. Okay. There we are, skip. Booyah. See ya, puppet. Farewell. Farewell. Hopefully that doesn't avoid the end either. Four nights remaining. Let's get on to night two. So we'll probably have to quit the game once night three starts. And then jump back into night five. I'm hoping. I'm hoping this works. If it doesn't, I'm going to be really annoyed. So Bonnie is now active. He is now our threat. So we've got to be extra careful when we move. And he's become more aggressive. Yeah, tell us about it. Careful where you're going. Hold right click to listen. More time passes, the better you'll hear. So this plushie is in the uh, parts and service, which is not parts and service. That's where we need to end up. It's in the supply closet where Bonnie likes to hang out, which honestly is pretty cool. Like that Freddy's on. It doesn't really work because Freddy's on stage. Like the Freddy's plushie's on stage, but Chica's Chica's is like in the. Oh, I guess it kind of works because Chica's is in the right hall. The Floxy plush is in the bake room. So there we are. There's our Bonnie plush. Let us head out the door. Just a really weird angle behind us. But let's go. Let's keep an eye out for Bonnie. I'm going to follow that music box. Is our plan. So Bonnie should be chill. Our middle our middle horn should be safe, if anything. Um, Listen this way. Yep, yeah, we'll go that way. I'm not hearing any breathing. Like, Bonnie should be pretty chill. I think for this night. 
Like we don't even need, we don't even really need to worry about Bonnie. For the most part. We do have to end up on stage though. So obviously Bonnie might get pissed at us there. No, nope, we're good. We're good. No child laughter. No breathing. We're fine. Alright, music box number one. Then I think we head over to Pirates Cove. When's the next area? Is that breathing? Mm. No. It's not. And he's telling just gotta pay attention. It's like, is am I am I being breathed on right now? The answer is no, no, I'm not. So we're probably better off heading this way. That's breathing. Bye Bonnie. We're going this way. <laughs> we're leaving you. I also thought Bonnie's whole deal was they couldn't head onto the they patrol the outer stages. Okay, Bonnie's just following us now. Bonnie, get out of here. <laughs> Bonnie, Bonnie, go away. Alrighty. Leave us alone, Bonnie, please. Alright, we're good there. Go. 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 We gotta outrun Bonnie. Uh, where is it? Is it this way? Yeah. Go over there. We had to four locations, I think. So we've already done one. Oh no, it's the bathrooms. It's location number two. Yep. All right. We head to bathrooms. Bonnie should be behind us anyway. So he kind of looped us. I don't think he's. I don't think he's moving fast enough to loop us. Which is nice. But we should be fine. Should get it done around about four a.m. The biggest, the most annoying thing is we're gonna have to do night five again. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the biggest pain. We have to do nine five again, because nine five is a doozy, bro. Nine five is a doozy. All right, and we go to the bathroom, location number two. Then I think it's Pirate Co yeah, it's Pirates Cove and Parts and Service. That's what it is. So we're good there. Let's go listen for Bonnie. Any spooky breathing? Anyone there? Hello. Are you good? Okay, we're good there. Let's leave. Then let's depart. Uh, fastest way to Pirate's Cove. Down this way, I think. Yeah, should be this way. Should be that way, down Pirate's Cove. So that's the way we want to head. Probably better the head. This way? Yeah, I think that will head across the dining hall, cut across there. Wait for the best. Nope, that's Bonnie. Hey, Jeff. We're going this way. Bye. See, see ya, pal. Oh, that's the that's the office hallway. We don't head. Don't want to head down that way. God damn it, Bonnie. Do you have the jupe us? Bo really wants what Bo really wants to encounter us. We're gonna, now we're gonna dupe Bonnie is the problem. Alright, go there. So Bonnie should be to our left. I believe. Let's just go in the wrong way. Hmm hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. Alright, we're good there. Just want to be careful, because Bonnie can sometimes be super annoying. Sometimes Bonnie just... His laugh will be really quiet. Don't his laugh there. Hello? Hello, my dear Bonnie. No, oh, we're good. Go that way. Go on. Go forth. Close to Pirate's Cove. Bonnie might be nearby, though. It's kind of hard to hear over the music box. Pretty sure we're good, though. Pretty sure we're good. There we are. Nice one. Then we're just going to make a dash behind us. 
Straight for backstage. It's going to be hard though. Because we are going to have to... Keeping it, keeping it off for good old Bonnie boy. Keeping it off for good old Bonnie boy. Are we good? Any breathing? Nope. Come on. We got this. Should be our final step. Yep, straight into backstage. There you go. I don't, think, I, don't, I don't think Bonnie can spawn in backstage. So, either way we win though. 4 a.m. victory. I think that we actually took us. Uh, we actually were faster that time compared to our original night two, which is to be expected. But there we have it, our second plush. And I'm hoping we can do this, quit out of night three, jump into night five, beat it, and see what happens. Because this will be the deciding factor of whether or not we get the good ending, or whether we don't. Because I don't. I really. I don't want to have to grind through night three and four again. I feel like I shouldn't have to, because I it, it doesn't make sense to give us a night select if you're not gonna if we're not gonna be able to use it to actually help us get the good ending. Like the game should I feel like the game should save whether or not you got the pup like whether you not you've got the um the plushie once you beat the night. Which I think is I think is the deal. It's like, yeah, you know, you got the plushie, good job. You did it. Epic. Now you can now you can be free or whatever. You can be free. Alrighty, hey puppet. Hey puppet, how's it going? How's it going, my homie? The story I tell you is a true story that I'll never forget. We won't, because it's our story. Yep, sorry, sorry to burst your bubble, bubble puppet. We already know it. Hoping skipping doesn't do anything either. So now we're on night three. We're going to quit. We're going to quit in this intermittent period, because then we haven't started night three yet. That's the thing. You don't start night three until you leave the office. So there shouldn't be any kind of reset happening. But we've beaten night two. So now that we're here, I do wish, again, I wish there was a return to menu. I don't know why there isn't. It's one of the most, like, annoying things to it. Like, on one hand, it's nice to be able to quit, like, straight out of the game. But on the other hand, it, it sucks when you just want to return to menu. It's like, please. Please input, please input a return to menu feature. I beg you. It makes, it makes the life of everyone so much easier. It makes it, it's like, even if it's like, hold escape to it. I don't know, I don't know how to do it. Because it, like... Oh, there we have it. Okay. Um, so we got all the plushies, which counts custom night active. Uh, but we haven't actually seen the good ending. So we are going to have to jump back into night five. Okay, so so it worked. Excellent. Good. That's great. So we can actually do, we can take a quick peek at custom night. I'm guessing we can go back. Uh, yeah, there we are. So we have obviously them four and 20, and we can select every plushie as an objective. We're going to find like five objects while they're all on super max difficulty. I presume it just changes how fast they are, not necessarily how like tough it is to hear their breathing. But now that we got all the plushies, we're going to jump back into Night 5, go get the ending, and then we'll see how we're going. Night 5, I'm hoping we can be good at Night 5, I'm praying, because Night 5 was a doozy last time. I don't know what I'm doing this time, so that's good, but my goodness did I struggle with Night 5. Did I absolutely struggle with Night 5, but we got the, ourselves the plushies, so we're just going to leave here, and I'll quest is going to begin. This is essentially just like an elimination round. 9-5 run. It's like, a, it's like you just have to get lucky. Well, not lucky, but you have to get lucky. You know, you have to keep up your streak. You're going to have to find who isn't breathing or who is breathing and then head the direction where people aren't breathing. The worst location is the stage by far. Alright, where am I? Uh, I'm here. Okay, i got three, three options. Yep. I swear to God, if I die to Freddy again, I'm going to be so pissed. Actually, Cannot be moving any faster. No, we're in bathrooms. We're in bathrooms. We're in bathrooms. Go. Get out of here. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Oh. Holy hell. Holy hell. I don't know why 9-5 is such a pain like that. I'm, I'm, I don't know why. Why is it? I, like, it's better once you know once you're, what you're doing. But even then, it just becomes more frustrating. The game just forces you to just kind of stay there on stage. I didn't want to get surrounded on stage or Pirate's Cove. We have you, Fredbear Plush. We have you. But of course, what a twist. We're spring locked. Of course. So let's see if Puppet has anything different to say now that we've unlocked. No, we made it to night five. We got ourselves a different ending. I don't know. I don't think that. I don't think the thing is that different. 
Honestly, I think like Puppet has like something to say, but like Because Puppet made the whole thing about how we don't actually care about, you know, the people we kill is a thing. It's like, oh, you know, you, you just want to escape and stuff. She's like, fair enough, you put us in this purgatory, we're gonna to wanna to try and do that. So let's see what you gotta say, Puppet. Let's see what you gotta say. And hope it's something, hope it's something good. Wanna you wanna drop it on us? Wanna drop Drop it on us? Nup? Maybe? Maybe? No? There we are. Hey Puppet. Nice seeing ya. How's it going, Chief? How's it going? Once a man called William Afton. Life he chose to waste time chasing shadows, turning a blind eye at the suffering of others. That's pretty much the same so far. Of course, there's our fire. Good old FNAF 3. Legion of the Raven Alliance that was robbed from your victims. You fought, forgot your fate of death until your last one breath. A decades of running away from retribution. You perish, trapped by your own ma machinations. Your body turned to ash, crum crushed inside one large metallic coffin. Same stuff so far. Soul Select and Roll was dragged into the darkest depths of Earth and taken by the forces that would decide your fate. After then judgment was clear. I was kind of bad. I played, <laughs> Your Honor, I played Oopsie Daisy. So it'll be fine there. The place is born out of their judgment. This colorless replica of reflection of where your life should have first ended. Shows your past. It's your punishment. Endless night trapped within the abandoned confines of the dream. You turn into a nightmare. Place you poison with your joy and selfish desires. Congratulations. It's your own personal hell. You truly deserve it. My job here is finished. I'm for you trying to find humanity in you. Your chances of redemption are long gone and you have no one to blame but yourself. Over the course of these five nights, you have failed to show regret for your actions, nor care about anything other than your escape from this prison. What? We literally got all the plushies, and all you want me to do? You do this to yourself, and as such, I leave you to your fate. This is the end, William. Good riddance. Okay, so that might be bugged out there, I think. Because... The end, custom has been unlocked. I swear, Puppet, let me look at the wiki real quick. Thank God for the shadow, uh, the shadow of a Freddy wiki, by the way. If it wasn't for that, we got all the plushies in color, though. So that, like that is the good ending. But I swear it has the exact same dialogue. I could have sworn there's something different. Like it doesn't, make, like it doesn't make any sense for Puppet to be like, "Oh, you collected all the plushies, you can redeem yourself now." It's like, no, that's not how that works. So we're just gonna skip through the credits real quick. Now have a look at the wiki because it does, it does have the, the the puppet speech at the end. So I'm hoping we get to see um, exactly, you know. Uh, what the what the difference is? Because I didn't see any difference there. This is the puppet going like, "Yeah, you're redeemable. Die." It's like, okay, fair enough, puppet. Fair, fair enough, honestly. Let's go. I'm gonna go take a look real quick. So, if you excuse me, just a second, while I pop up, pop up the Shadow of Phrase wiki, which has helped me so much over the course of you know these kind of on these um over the course of the uh this <laughs> this series. Um, here we are. Okay, there we are. This is part of the ending. Yeah. Finger failed. Chance of redemption had long gone. You don't blame yourself. Part of the ending. Here we are. Good ending. A different end. Oh, so the puppets. The player's fate is the same. Yeah. So the puppet doesn't actually change their speech. So we, we, the only reason we actually did that was to get the different end screen. That was the only thing. My bad. I thought the puppet had a different speech. Uh, we're going to give Cuss Knight a crack and see how we go. Because I'll cut out the first Knight 5 attempt I did. Um, but I do want to see how difficult Cuss Knight is. Because this is going to see whether or not we this is where it ends now. Or this is where... Like, we're obviously going to do the max mode. And obviously everyone's going to be... Freddy's going to be the most aggressive, as we know. So we're just going to begin here. And because the, the plushies are random is the problem. Like we don't actually get any kind of any kind of advantage by um like there's, it's not like the doll on night four where you can look up where the plushies are and be like ah oh, if I go here 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 I can find the most optimal route. It's just kind of like good luck. Hey pork chop. Hello, you're here now. Yeah, so let's we just begin. I think we're still safe in the hallways. Uh, obviously, so it's going to say night six. Collect the plushies, and this is the final night. So we've got five plushies to collect. Got no idea, like where they spawn. If they can spawn in the hallways, if they can spawn like in the middle of the tables. Like the best, obviously, rooms to check are obviously the dining rooms and stuff. But like it wouldn't be that far fetched for them to spawn, you know, over here. 
We gotta be quick, quick to look for Foxy and stuff. Okay, there's one. So we got. So there was one in the supply closet. Um, and obviously we gotta be, we gotta be fast. We gotta move fast. Be speedy. Listen well. Try not to die. You know. I don't think it actually changes. I don't think it changes their breathing. Is the thing. Like I feel like that's not like a thing that it's changed how fast they move. Like because that's what that's what the AI levels are. So we can still like listen for the same amount of time and say, "Hey, you know, this is us dying here." I still don't know if checking on Foxy prior to his arrival is actually good, but we did get the Foxy plush, so there we are. And I've got no idea if that's like beneficial. Okay, there's you there. We surrounded. Nope, go this way. We'll go for the kitchen next, probably. For anything, then... Yeah, we'll go for kitchen. Kitchen's best bet. Shouldn't be too bad, honestly. Like, I, I, have, I have faith in this night... In this... Our, our night six ex escapades. But I just gotta make it to kitchen. Because I reckon that's where the third plush is gonna be. Probably Chica's. So if anything, and the good news is we don't have to check kitchen because no one can show up, which is nice. Unless, unless this is a surprise now. So ears, cheekers, plush here. Check everywhere. Nope, no plush in kitchen. Okay, that's my bad. Uh, we'll pay a visit to Foxy again. Actually, well, Foxy's kind of absent, so it might be worth hanging up actually. Oh no, I hit. I'll head, the, I'll head this way. I'll head back to Foxy. Unless we get cornered by someone. In which case, we'll dodge them. But we'll head over to Foxy. Because since they're still moving pretty fast, they're, they're like... You're kind of fine, honestly. Like, I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Than it actually was. Like, obviously, once Foxy dum 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 dums you know, you got to be quick. And you gotta hope no one kind of blocks your way there. So, the moment we're there. Like, not great here. Like, I do wish we had... At least the third plush. By now. The distance between here and the exit. Stage is gonna be a bit of a problem, but we do have to check stage anyway. So, it's not too bad. It's 4am now. I'm hoping we get lucky with a double plush here. So I'm just going to walk into backstage. Again, I'm going off the assumption. There's the Freddy plush. Nice one. Going off the assumption the employee, that the animatronics can't actually... See, now we're trapped here. Is the problem. This is bad. Because we have to kind of waste time. Waiting for you to move. Unless you move into me. But I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can. Oh, no, you can. Okay. Uh, where are you at? Hello. Oh, Foxy. There's Chica. No, we're screwed. God damn it. We got double teamed. God damn it. That's just unfair. That's just unfair. What the hell? He's got camped up by the door. Nah, Foxy's got us for sure. We're dead by Foxy. That's just unfair. What? That's just, that's just, bro, they just employed hacks. We're doomed. We're doomed. We can't move. We just can't move forward. And Foxy's about to get us. Okay, there's Bonnie. Hey, Bonnie. Alright. No, we're so dead from Foxy. Unless Foxy, unless Foxy went on, went on chill. For a bit. Which he might have. Nah, we're dead. We're dead by Foxy. 100%. He's singing his song, but no. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I we're dead by Foxy, dead by Freddy. Either way. We're dead by, we're dead by someone. Nah, dead by Freddy. Freddy's got us for sure. Unless the last plush is on stage. If it's in, if it's in the exit or bathroom, we're screwed. 100%. We're dead. Nope. We're screwed. We're screwed. 100%. Freddy's got us. Freddy's killed us. 
He's going to get the kill. One, 100% free has got us. Unless we can stun him somehow. But I doubt it. Nope. I'll go on stage. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Now we're dead. We're 100% dead. Go that way. Unless we get super lucky. I mean, ridiculously lucky. There's the Bonnie plush. Nah, we're dead. <laughs> God damn it. Four plushes first try, though. If it wasn't for that backstage trickery, we would have made it. I guarantee you. That was just that was just brutal. That was just unfair. Um Yeah, no, that was, <laughs> that was just unfair. That's the best the, that's the best way to describe it. Oh, that's just bad it's just bad RNG, really. Cause they had to have to have both Chica and Bonnie. Cause it allowed Foxy to get it. because because the clock moves faster when you're standing still. And since we can't actually leave, uh we get we get stuck. Is that a dog? Got no idea who that is. I honestly think I can't check on Foxy. I don't think I have time. Oh, there's Foxy. Yeah, so he's got he's got two he's got two songs. If you hear his second song, he's about to kill you. Um, unless you move super super fast. God damn it. Okay. Oh, there's so many plush placements. Okay, when Chase Foxy starts moving towards the screen, if you right click on a path. Oh, there you are. Okay, that's good. I see you can get first. When Foxy gets out, he will always chase you. Visit Pirates Cove after he leaves. Force him back behind the curtains. Foxy sings the verse of his song to indicate he's grown patient. He will leave the curtains after seeing it two times in a row. Yep. So we knew that. There we are. Come back behind the curtains. Yep. Cool. So he does actually give us a pause if we to right click to listen, which is nice. That's actually a very generous mechanic and really appreciated. But yeah, it probably just comes down to we're not the RNGs on our side. But it honestly, it's doable. It's definitely doable. I think you just have to kind of get. You definitely have to kind of get lucky, like with this, like this initial hallway check. I think is important. Might be better to actually head. Yeah, no, I think it's so. Left hall, right hall, kitchen. Probably left hall, right hall, kitchen, then the back room, and then across the stage get the Foxy. Maybe. I think left hall, left hall, right hall combo is good because you can have two that spawn there. Because there's Bonnie, immediately grab Bonnie, then head back out. Because we're fine. The, the, the less time you spend moving, the better. Or well, the more time, I should say. Then we'll check right hall, then check kitchen. Then go check Foxy, I reckon. Because I haven't ever checked, I haven't ever checked the camera, I haven't ever checked the, the exit and bathrooms. So I know one actually spawns there. Oh, I'm going to go right hall. Right hall is the next one over. We good there? We good, we good, we good. No one can head in right hall, so we're fine there. Unless, unless they can, maybe they can. I oh, know, I'm just not taking it. I'm just can't be bothered to, to check. Do we have a plushie here? No, we do not. And we're fine there. It's 1 a.m. though. We can find one plushie per hour. That's our goal. One, pl one plushie per hour is what we want. Anything less and it's kind of screwed. You're kind of you're kind of doomed. If it's less than one plushie per hour. Uh, chica, chica, chica. Nope, no plushie here. Alrighty, that's not good. That is. Oh, I didn't check. I didn't check. That was risky. That was big risk right there. That was a major risk. I fully could have died. <laughs> Go that way. Foxy still hasn't moved yet, so we're still good. Check bathrooms. Do a bathroom exit check, then across the stage. I think is the plan. I don't know where to look, though. Well, we got the safe room as well. Oh, we have to actually check the safe room? God damn it. Who knows an actual room? Okay, well, there we are. We got one plush there. Okay, we'll do... We'll do... Oh, we're on the opposite side of the room for Foxy. We're so far away from Foxy, bro. Oh, and of course. Of course we get you there. Mmm. It's better if I just listen. Because it pauses Foxy, I think. God damn it. 
God damn it. Okay, so we want to check bathrooms last. Because there's two rooms. With the safe room. Uh, I'll skip exit, head across stage, head to Foxy. That's the best way. If we're caught on stage, we're dead. But hey. At least Foxy, at least Foxy puts, it up, put up, put us, puts us out of our misery pretty fast. But we lose so much time just by getting cornered. Nah, we're dead. We're dead. 100%. We're screwed. Nah, we're, we're, we're so dead. How are we not? We're, we're so dead to Foxy. Yeah, hey, bro. See, what was that? That's the thing. It's like, how we... Like, we're gonna die to Foxy there. We're gonna get killed by Foxy. Um, alrighty. Do I wanna try... I'll give one more attempt, I reckon. Give one more attempt. And see how we go. Because it does, it does kind of depend on RNG. So I'll give one more attempt. If it does, if it does work, you know, we did it. That's the end of the show with Freddy's. If not, we'll come back for one more video. And give it one last crack to see how we go. Because... My phone is getting a bit tired from all this recording, so I do need to take a break at some point. So we'll give it one more go, one more attempt. So Foxy is pretty aggressive, um, but if you can catch him, problem is, is because like a lot of the stuff is on the side of the building, so you kind of want to do kitchen. You don't want to do what I did. Don't don't go up that way, off up the right hall. You want to head to kitchen, then head back, look at Foxy because you can check Pirates Cove. Then once you check Pirates Cove, I head up, check back Pirate. Probably head back to Pirates Code, maybe if Foxy um, sings again. So now that we have we have one plush here, so that's good. You kind of want to find a plush on your first try. So I reckon what we do here is we head over to kitchen. I didn't check. God damn it. Okay, that was lucky. I get so, I get so lucky sometimes. I get so lucky. I swear. So what we want to do is want to head over to kitchen first. Head to kitchen. Check for kitchen, check right hall, head out of right hall, go deal with Foxy, then head up, deal with backstage and uh, break room. So it should be any plush around here. Nope, no plush in kitchen. Anyone out there? Nope, we're good. Then check right hall, then head to Foxy. And we should... Okay, that's not good. Yeah, we'll dodge you. We can't afford. We can't afford to wait. Cannot afford to wait. So see if we can head this way. Yep, we can. Excellent. You be. All right, you're probably still gonna be there. Yep. Not optimal. Oops, I moved in where I am. Probably Chica. Hey, Chica. There's Foxy. We're gonna head over. To, we'll head over to Foxy first. Okay. Nope. We're heading this way. I guess. Yep. We're going this way. So we're gonna try and dodge Bonnie. We'll go deal with Foxy. Head. No. Oh, I'll check on right hall. I'll check. I'll do a right hall check. We'll see how risky this is. Well, no. It's worth it. It is worth it. Thanks, Foxy. Go move. We gotta get out. Of, we gotta get out of the place that corners us real fast. That's the thing. Go that way. One more move away. So the time you hear Foxy sing, you want to be on the move there. You want to be on the move to Pirate's Cove by the time you hear Foxy sing. It's a bit of a problem if someone's there at Pirate Cove. Because obviously that poses a problem of, you know, someone being at Pirate's Cove. Which is a, which is a whole nother. Oh, hey, Chica Blush. Okay, that's someone there. Go this way. We're gonna go long ways. Go up, up towards the stage. Oh, it's on moving. No, we're good there. We're good there. Come on, three plus use at four a.m. That's good. Good target. Go that way. Just speed, speed those for. I'll check stage. Yep, go stage. Hopefully there's a plush here. No plush. Nope, no plush. Is 
Is that bravery? No, nope, we're good. Alright, uh, we'll check ba break room next, I reckon. Oh, I'm gonna move that way one more. Then we'll check on Foxy. Again. Yeah, we'll check on Foxy again. 4am. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be tough. So back down to Foxy, then we're gonna head across and check the last two rooms. Okay, no, nothing in break room. Head out of here. Go for backstage. And I reckon it's gonna be safe room. Maybe. I'm gonna head to backstage. Then go check on Foxy. Because Foxy will sing again. There's Bonnie. Because we won't make it. Yep. Go. Go. We can't afford to get stuck in backstage. Not when Foxy's after us. Come on. No breathing. Go that way. So we have to head like diagonally, which is the, the worst thing. We just have to head all the way across the pizzeria. God damn it. That is not what we wanted. That's quite objectively the worst thing that could have happened. Oh, it's 5 a.m. We gotta get Foxy though, he's gonna kill us otherwise. We got we got we just gotta go for Foxy. So we gotta hope. I need you to move, bro. I need you to move. I need you to move out of Pirate's Cove, otherwise Foxy's gonna kill us. And again, it's just bad RNG. Go that way. I think we're dead though. I think we're dead by Freddy. 6 a.m. will move soon. Nah, we're screwed. Come on. That's just bad RNG, bro. Yep. Nah, we're dead. Dead by someone. Whether it's Freddy or Bonnie or Chica or Foxy or whoever. It's dead by someone. We won't make it. No way. Ah, so close as well. So, so, so close. Yep. Hi, Freddy. God damn it. Yeah. That's the toughest thing. So you honestly probably want to... It honestly might be wiser to actually speedrun... No, no. I think the, the, I think the way I did it is best. Yeah. No, it's got to be. Because... Yeah, you, oh, it's, it's, it's annoying. It's like you're just out of time. Because you need to check every you need to check every place. So honestly, you kind of just need to hope you don't have one in exit or bathrooms. I don't think I don't know if that's possible or not. Um, but you need to have it so. Hmm. It's definitely doable. Definitely doable. So we will come back and, uh, and get that four twenty mode win. Because I want I want I want a hundred percent of Shadow of Freddy's. Uh, but yeah, no, it's definitely definitely a, just a little bit just a little bit out of reach. Because I think what we're doing is good. You want to do the pure like, Foxy checks. You could stun Foxy for long enough. Like, maybe you could, like, not check him during the final plush. But honestly... Well, actually, okay, so... Because there's one plush at Pirate's Cove that spawns in. And you don't actually have to worry about that. Like, you only want to get that one once Foxy actually sings for the first time. So you want to end up... Honestly, you probably... But I need to stop checking left hall. What I need to do is head right hall. And go that way and deal with back, um, you know, the bathrooms, safe room, and exit, then cross backstage, and then head around to go deal with Foxy. And so I want to head, I want, like, if you look, imagine the map is like a square, kind of, I want to head up this way, up, so out right hall, check, check right hall while we're, while we're there, then head to kitchen, then head upwards, go backstage and exit, then head stage, then skip these two, head down to Foxy, check Pirate's Cove, head back up, check these two, check Foxy again, head stage. I head, um, down there. I head, I head supply closet. It's the strat. So there, there we have it for the good ending of Shadow of Freddy's. We'll be back for the 420 max mode, because uh, I think we can do it. I think we're so, so, so close to doing it. It's in a little bit, in a little bit of good RNG and a little bit more strategy, and we'll have done it. So I will see you next time for one last episode of A Shadow of Freddy's. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Oh, it's so frustrating. We're so, so, so close. I don't want to give up, but it, yeah, sometimes you gotta really, you gotta know when to when to stop the video and then move on to the next one. Because seriously, it's like I, 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 a part of me just wants to continue at custom night, but you know, I've been going for like I think an hour now. So that is gonna be it for A Shadow of Freddy's. Uh, good ending video.
Honestly, pretty cool. I'm glad we still... I, as much as a 9 5 pisses me off, I'm really glad we still did it. It's very fun. Um, to see, to see at least the ending with the colour plushies. So it's nice to actually have some colour in our life. Uh, so yeah, I've been a Pro Club Noob. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and go check out the game for yourself in the description down below while you're down there. And I'll see you guys next time for the fi Shadow of Freddy's finale, where we beat this cast tonight once and for all. Until then, have a good one. I've been a Pro Club Noob. Goodbye!